What boxes should students check off when writing their supplemental essays? That's a really good question. The supplemental essay is actually completely different than the Common App essay. You're writing the Common App essay, it's in the personal narrative style, and you're like, yeah, everyone wants to know the real me. It's so touchy-feely. The supplemental essay is totally the opposite of that. So they still want to know the real you, but it should be much more technical, and it should actually be an opportunity to highlight an expertise that a student has in a specific subject. So for students building model bridges at home because they want to be civil engineers or doing high-level science research in a lab, it's going to be important to drill down on some of those experiences in the supplementals and then taking it a next step to kind of connect it to what at the school is going to be valuable and how they can carry those experiences into the school and the resources that schools offer. So do you have any other additional information, maybe tips or tricks that we didn't go over yet that you think students should know? I think the biggest tip or trick is to research the school. So many times students want to say, I really love that campus or it's beautiful at Dartmouth. I want to go and run on the green or things like that. But really knowing about the school's academic offerings, that's very important to the university. And so students want to do a lot of research on all of the academics, the departments that they're going to be in. They want to think about what kind of students does this school look for. So if you're applying to Harvard, they like a humanities student. If you're applying to Princeton, STEM is more of a focus. They have more STEM students. So you want to really think about how does the school think? What do they value? And what resources can you really take advantage of during the four years? College is one of the most resource-rich times in the life of any person. And it's very interesting because a lot of students are just thinking about the fun they're going to have or the campus. But schools want to know that you're going to use those resources. So research. The other thing I would say is if you have something that's a little different to share and it's idiosyncratic, share it. If your family is like the My Big Fat Greek Wedding family and you learned how to do something interesting because of that, share that. If you guys like to rock climb on the weekends and you've climbed 46 peaks of the Appalachian, you want to put that out there and kind of differentiate yourself so that they also can remember you. Memorability has a value too.